biofeedback guy up here in Northern California. Today we're looking at a headband. This is QXCI, QMCI, EPFX, Skio, Indigo type of headband. And you can see that what I did, I was, I was taking some readings off of it with my meter here. And I found that there were two shorted lines. So basically, two of these terminals went to one uh, electrode. And so what I've done is I've cut this open. And you can see that <clears throat> it looks like it's been pulled to the right here in the picture. And what it is is this headband was never made with the right uh, length of wire. Uh, because we can still pull on it and and have that the mo these will move over and you can see they're not straight up and down they should be straight up and down and it's pulled and we still have a little give right here because the leather is not or the cord maybe the cord has pulled loose of the leather maybe is what's happening but that uh, zip tie is pretty tight so it's kind of hard to believe it almost looks like that yeah it's 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 still got more give so it's, it's got more give on it. And so it even you can see that they're supposed to be straight up and down. And if we pull on this cord, then they're gonna be even criss more crisscross and possibly touching each other. Uh, there is a possibility of that happening. And what happens normally on these, there is a coating on the outside of this. And that coating wears off through whatever the salt, the sweat, and the head on the forehead and it eventually wears off and what I normally do is I will take these and flip these around so that the underside is being exposed and normally the underside still has the coating on it so we we have a, a side with coating on it and then sometimes I also wrap these with a, a piece of like a silver uh, wire to uh, increase the conductivity so yeah that's what happened I was getting a double reading from uh, one of the pins so one of the pins was showing on uh, two of these with my meter I could tell that they were shorter and you can see that it's, they're almost pulling to one side and possibly shorting that way. okay so you can see a little bit of the process that I'm going through here wrapping these wires around at this point because the conductive material on the exterior of this rubber has uh, come loose, has worn off. So I'm basically connecting the wires directly to these wires here inside. And then also what I'm going to do is I'm going to I've taken a zip tie off. I've cut that zip tie. I'm going to put another zip tie on. And I'm actually going to give this plenty of space in here so that it can't be pulled sideways again anymore so that these will all be straight. And I'm going to push that back in there so those are all straight. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually glue it in there as well with the E6000, the E6000, um, it dries sort of flexible and uh, it's, it's easily, to re you can easily remove it and uh, so it's flexible but it's hard so it, it sticks really good and it's flexible and yet if you need to you can cut it off with a razor knife. Um, so it easily cuts off because it is so flexible, but it is very sticky. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to glue this and I'm also going to zip tie it with plenty of space in here so it doesn't pull these off to one side like it did before. Okay, so here's the finished product right here. Basically, I put some tape around it because it's, uh, it's still setting up here. The glue is setting up a little bit. But basically, you can see how the wire is wrapped around the electrodes. And so this will give you a good connection there and solve the problem. Um, and then also I put 
I put double zip ties on this here and also glued that in place so it won't uh, the cord won't pull the electrodes off center anymore and so that should be good to go thanks for watching if you need any help you can contact me 707-443-8347 Pacific Time and I re rebuild straps and test devices I also do laptop repair and uh, software installation I have a lot of used laptops for sale if you're interested please contact me laptops repairs at yahoo.com laptops repaired at yahoo.com thanks for watching